Are they? Are they top down? to invite friends. Oops, boy. Hey, Michael. How are you? Let's see. Hey, Megan. All right, I'm just gonna give some time for people to hop on. Do all this right. I can't see you, baby. Sorry. Ah. Hey, Dan, why don't you scoot a little bit just so people can see you? Tell me how exciting to see all the things, Cincy. Yeah. We're going to see all kinds of stuff, Cincy. So get yourself a drink, get yourself comfortable. I'm gonna be sitting here doing some stuff while uh, people tune in. So we have a few minutes before it is nine o'clock. Hey Megan. I can't see you. I know, but I don't want to. <laughs> Turn the camera towards like a wide angle. Sure. I mean, I don't really know what I'm. Okay. Rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. Oh, look at that. See, Facebook's got rules. I ain't playing. Okay. I'm gonna try to follow along with um, the comments on my computer because the phone is really small. So. Hey, Mom. Mom's on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you still live? A am I still alive or are we still live? Lincoln just fell asleep finally, but he is watch them rewatch the sound. Sounds good, Megan. <laughs> I feel you. Definitely feel you. Let me go ahead and put this to the side. Janine's on. We got some people popping on. This is fun. Let's see. Janine's on. Mom's on. Mom's gonna comment every five minutes. Don't be mean. She knows I'm messing with you. Oh, and my dad's watching. Look at that. All right. Look at that. We've got some more people popping on. Let's see who's all watching. It's not showing who's watching. Oh well. We'll wait a few more minutes just for people to pop on. Just go ahead and enjoy some some time to yourself. <laughs> I do want to um, introduce this beautiful top. By the way, it is a crop top. The fact that I'm wearing a crop top after having twins is amazing. But this is called the Ava. I just got it today from the boutique called 15 and Co. And it is super cute. I love this. I cannot wait to wear it again with some jeans and some boots. Um, but I saw it and just had to have it and went over there and bought it today. So get on there. You can um, get the friends and family discount. Um, um, by watching this video, you can um, type in 
15 forever in the checkout and get 15% off um, for friends and family discount. Um, I will go ahead and put a link in the comments. Let me go ahead and do that now. To her page where, oh no, where you can go and shop her store. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. She has a giveaway going on right now too. So definitely hop on on that. I believe it is a, a sweet little necklace that says Mama Bear and $50 um, credit for inventory. So that's fun. So it's 15 forever. 15% off. Okay. So just posted that. Make sure you go to her page. Like it. She is super sweet. She, um, it's funny because like we didn't even know it, but she was our neighbor at our old house that was like right down the road. So it's very funny how small this little area is. Um, all right. So we have some people on. I figure we go ahead and um, introduce ourselves. My name is Brandon. This is my husband, Nick. Hello. <laughs> if you don't know us or if you do know us, um, please drop in the comments um, your name and um, just introduce yourself uh, with your name so you can be entered in our raffle. We are going to be giving away a Scentsy Car Bar tonight. It is my favorite scent called Welcome Home. Um, I love my Scentsy Car Bar. So I figured I'd go ahead and share it with y'all. So go ahead and just uh, put your name down and say um, hello. Show me that you're here. Um, I'm going to be asking some questions throughout the video so you guys can earn um, earn a raffle towards that Scentsy Car Bar. Pretty much any time you guys interact, comments, like, anything like that. Um, throughout this video, I'm going to go ahead and add that up and post it at the end of the video who won so anyways we will get on with um, our video so Nick and I um, oops, sorry Nick and I swore each other to each other that we wouldn't go into another MLM I should say I wouldn't go into another MLM thank you for clarifying that <laughs> I um, have done a few and I was like I am tired of selling things and I am I just can't keep up with it. Like I've got too much going on. Um, you know, being a mom in general is hard. I can't um, give it to um, those working moms enough for how much they are busting their buns um, at a job, and then they come home and have to be mom. And you know, just like any other stay-at-home mom as well, it's like you know your job never ends. So that's why I was not very interested in joining a new um, a new company, um, but. You know, after I got pregnant with the boys, um, something changed in my senses and I was obsessed with smells. I don't know why, but anything that smelled pretty, I wanted it. Um, I was obsessed with lemon for a very long time. Um, after the boys were born, um, with Tommy's heart condition, we had to eliminate a lot of fragrances out of our house. Um, so that was a big deal um, with that. And then once his heart was fixed and he didn't have any breathing issues anymore, it was very exciting for me to um, get back into enjoying those fragrance and fragrances and um, scents that I really like. So, hence, I bought a ton of Scentsy from my friend um, and, and her party, and I just kept buying stuff. And, <laughs> and then um, the $15 kit came out. Um, and I was like, ooh, that sounds great. Let's do that. And then, you know, of course, Sharice was, you know, telling me about a different kit that she could hook me up with. And I was like, okay. And then I was thinking about, you know, I was like, what if I did work it? What if I did use this opportunity to um, do something good with it? Instead of working it for myself, maybe I can work it for other people. Um, if you don't know our story is that we did have um, twins at 30 weeks and, um, one, our little boy Tommy was diagnosed with um, a heart condition a week later. Um, so we um, have been battling, or had 
to battle that with him and we finally got his heart fixed on August 22nd. Um, he is still recovering. He is still in the recovering stage of his um, heart surgery. So um, we do have a few more days of that. And I'm really excited that he is doing really well. He's gaining a lot of weight and um, we couldn't be um, more thankful for y'all's prayers and support. So, um, but that is one reason why I decided to go um, into this company is, you know, I could use Sensi to help um, raise money for other heart warriors and their families for their procedures um, or any circumstances that they may need it for. Um, so that's my goal uh, with this launch party. I do have a friend um, whose daughter just actually had her heart transplant yesterday, um, actually, or last night. I can't remember if it was yesterday or last night, but she's doing well. She is recovering. Um, we definitely know how um, difficult the recovery stage is going to be for them, and um, you know we want to make sure that they, um, you know, get their their time to their to recover and. Uh, keep praying for them because you know she does have a long road ahead of her either way but um well Gracie was diagnosed with um heart failure at 14 years of age and um it was just spontaneous they didn't know anything about it and um you know she needs a heart transplant and she finally got it but of course you know with that there is always um other things that go along with it so we want to help bless them with um a donation um with some Sensi, with some gifts that we can um, to help them along their way of recovery. Um, so that's why I decided to do um, Sensi. Um, once this party is over, we'll find another family that needs some help um, and and help and help them with their uh, their difficulties. So, um, all right. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and read some comments here. What we're gonna do is. Um, I did own them. What? So, what you're saying is anything that you make from this is going to yes. go towards them? Yes. So, Scentsy, um, I do not get a discount with Scentsy. When I buy things, I do not get them at a discount. Um, so, whatever, I, if I could hit the goal um, to make a profit off of the launch party, that profit, um, sorry, that profit profit will go to Gracie and then we also agreed that we would match that profit as a family um, towards her um, GoFundMe account so um, you know we definitely encourage you guys to go to her GoFundMe I've posted on um, my Melting Hearts page uh, and you guys can read through that and please I encourage you to donate if you can um, to help support their family as well so, um, let's see here. Do we have Michael on there? Yes, we have my mom, Adrienne. Sharice is on there. Diane, which is Nick's mom, is on there. And we have... Hi, Mom. <laughs> Casey. Let's see. I'm trying to find. We have a few people who are um, hanging on. I think Janine's on here. My dad's on here still, so... Anywho, let's get going. Um, yes, I love blueberry cheesecake so much, and my daughter is obsessed with it. She walks around the house literally holding the blueberry cheesecake bar on her face and just going, mmm, mmm. So we have designated that bar to be hers. Um, I think I'm going to get a <laughs> Scentsy um, scent pack for her to just sniff on because it's She's like obsessed with the blueberry cheesecake. Um, I don't know why she just loves it so much. But let's see here. Hey, Jessica. That's Jessica from um, the NICU. Oh. And. Thanks again for everything. Val. You remember Val? Mm -hmm. Val. Yeah. So they're on there. Bobby's on there. Hey, Bobby. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get going. Um, so where do we want to start? tell me hmm okay so we have some new releases we have some holiday scents and we have some um, <clears throat> some returners returners returning scents I don't know how to say that okay 
Um, so I'll go ahead and pull out my catalog here. Is there anything that you guys are interested in seeing um, or us kind of describing on our um, video uh, that we don't? Um, I do also have a few things behind me I can go ahead and go over. Um, if anybody's interested in any sampling, um, let me know. I can sample the cleaner. I can sample the um, washer whiffs. I can sample wax. I can sample oils. I have um, just about everything that I can sample. The only things that I can't sample are um, I don't have a lot of the bath, um, the bath and body stuff yet, and um, I don't have all the scents um, and bars yet. I do have a lot of them, but not all of them. Um, I plan on getting all the new releases and I plan on getting all of the holiday scents. So if anybody's interested in those, just let me know. Um, so I thought Scentsy was just wax. No, babe. What is not Scentsy? That's what I'm saying. Like I thought it was just those little wax cubes that you melt. No. So what do they have that's new? Um, they or have like they? everything. So when I first started using Scentsy, which is crazy because it's been 15 years, they just had the wax and the warmers. 15 years? Yeah, it's been 15 years. Wow. Yeah. I know, the first time I ever had Cincy, Janine got it for me for Christmas, I think, and she got me Welcome Home, and it was like a game changer. And then I got black, uh, the blueberry cheesecake, and then, oh my gosh, um, what else? Luna, and mm, what was it? Um, my Dear Watson, and Just Breathe. I got all of them. They were all, like, amazing at the time. So, anyways, um... What are the new? Pro what other products do they have? So they now they have, oh my gosh, they have laundry products, they have cleaning products, they have bath products, they have body products, they have kids products, um, they have pet products, they have, oh gosh, um, looks like they have essential oils. Oh, or... oils, yeah, they have oils. Wow, I'm sitting here diffusing them. I don't even have. And they have, like the kids stuff is super cute. Um, they have car stuff. So like the car, they have a um, Scentsy Go now, which is kind of like a little, um, I was trying to explain the Scentsy Go to um, my friend earlier and it was so hard to explain, but it, to me it looks like a little like eye home, but you stick a pot in it and it diffuses it, um, the scent out without any um, liquids, without any oils. It's just like these beads that, um, diffuse like an amazing amount of scent and for like 120 hours so they last forever um that is like my goal to get one and i'm so excited that i i hope that i we hit our goal so i do have the ability to purchase one um through this party so y'all let's let's try to get these people some some money towards their their um, donation and some Scentsy and let's just let's get this goal going um they also have like these new fun um what is it themes so they have like star wars they have disney um they have this disney stuff going on right now and they also have a star wars um diffu diffuser warmer and wax out right now which i thought was pretty cool so it's not just for women it's not just for women they have a men's line as well um, it's called Manly Men? No, Mystery Man, which one of his friends actually purchased a few things for men, so. And it smells really good. It's a very, very, very nice, clean smell for men. It's not that. Oh, you don't nice. like that. But, um, the diffusers are super, super, super cute. Love them. The public service announcement. You guys, stop using Axe. It stinks. Everybody thinks it not stinks. Everybody likes, not everybody likes. Everybody thinks, thinks it stinks. stinks. Everybody, everybody thinks everybody, stinks. Grown people think it stinks. Just, just saying. He's old. Just saying. Don't let your man spray himself with the axe. But back to Scentsy. They have the cutest little buddies for kids with scent packs. Yes, they do. And guess what? We have... We have some There's some blanket room. buddies with us. Yes, my daughter sleeps with them every single night. Ah. So these are so cute, aren't they? I'm not gonna go into full detail with everything, but these are super cute. We got my mom got these for our babies, 
And they're just a little too young to sleep with stuffed animals just right now, so I'm keeping them in the box. But they smell so good. They have the scent of jammy thyme in them. Um, and jammy thyme is actually um, good for sleeping. It is, let's see here what the um, description is. Um, but jammy thyme is to drift into dreamland with baby uh, Frisia. Frisia? Oh, I'm probably saying that wrong. Lavender and sweet pea. And it smells so pleasant and so sweet. I actually have it warming in my bedroom. My daughter has it in her little sleep buddy. Um, it is just a very nice scent. I even, um, I want to get the, the spray so I can spray it in their rooms at night. Um, anyways, so yes, they have kids products. They have the Scentsy Pods, which I'm so excited to get, which is the Scentsy Go. They have a huge list of oils, by the way. I only have three large oils, and then I just got the Perfect Pumpkin three-pack, um, which was in the Harvest Collection. And the next one I'm going to be getting the Christmas Holiday Pack. So, um, But I have a large amount of oils that I'm going to be getting, because you know I do like oils. Um, let's see. They have these little buddies are so cute. Oh my gosh. They're gonna have to like not let me get one for Anna. Or five. But with these little buddies, you stick these little scent packs, which looks like this. You put these inside the buddies so you can change them out. And they smell so good. So like if you have a kid who just has like some separation anxiety or just likes to snuggle something. Or like my kid who wants to smell everything. These are perfect. <laughs> um, let's see here, what else do they have? They have the sweetest little warmers. They also even have a whiff box. So you can get like a monthly whiff box of things like mailed to your house. So you don't even have to shop anymore. You just put that stuff in there and it gets mailed to you. They got the pet stuff going on. I bet that stuff smells really good. I should get some for Walter. Walter's mouth. Yeah. Hmm. Poor dog. I got the car stuff. So the car stuff that take your fragrance anywhere. So you can get a car clip. You can get the car hang-in bar. You can get the travel tin. You can get the scent pack, which is what I just showed you. Or the little scent circle. Or you can get the spray. So, since he's everywhere. And um, they have the bundle and save. Oh, the laundry also is amazing. I have to agree, it does smell nice. It does smell nice. Especially when we... And it doesn't mess up your washer like those no, things yeah. do. Like those, um, what are those called? Like, I don't know what they're called, but they're, like, they're like... Yeah, they're like the beads that you can get like in Downy or Gain or whatever, and they just like gum, gum up your washer machine. Don't do that. Don't ruin your washing machine. Does it go in the washer or does it go in the dryer? It goes in the washer and in the dryer. <laughs> so the, the, the whiffs which are these things right here. They're, um, they look like bath salt, like that you would put in your tub. No, I, not, I wouldn't not, recommend not doing that. You might smell really good. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but it smells really good. You know what you can do with this stuff? You can sprinkle it on your carpet. You can put it in your vacuum cleaner. You can put it in your car, you can um, put it in your water when you're mopping the floor. You can do so much with this stuff other than just put it in your laundry. So, can just I, saying. Can I dissolve it into a spray and spray it? Yes, you can actually. You can make okay. it a room freshener. Multiple uses Take that from, from just one of these. Yeah. Oh, it actually, yeah. You can kill for breeze with this stuff. They also have dryer discs. I used to these. So instead of, um, what is it? Dryer the sheets. dryer sheets? Nobody likes dryer sheets anymore because they're like full of chemicals, right? I don't use them. We use the dryer balls. I wanted more fragrance, so I got these things. They're like balls. Or balls, sorry. They're bars that you stick in your dryer. It doesn't leave a residue. It doesn't leave a, a anything. It leaves a smell. And that's it. It doesn't ruin your clothes. doesn't ruin your dryer. doesn't melt. doesn't anything. It just... It's amazing. And it lasts for like 15, whoa, 15 uses per bar. So I just use one right now. I'm sure you could probably use two if you wanted to at the same time. But you get two per box. And I think it's like $7 a box, maybe. No. Sorry. Um, I 
have no idea how much they are a box. I'm sure somebody could tell me though. Let's see, we have like a ton of comments. Holy moly, we're not reading them. Yeah, Luna Sensi Fresh Spray. Yeah, everybody needs that. Luna is a good, good, good smell. Just say no to Axe. <laughs> oh gosh, definitely thinking about the diffuser soon. Girl, you need to get one. I, that is on my list of, actually, of things to get. Right now I'm just kind of diffusing with a regular diffuser. Um, but that was like the first thing that I was like, I need a diffuser and I already have an eyeball. I want the, uh, where is it? I'm gonna tell you which one I want. I want the In Spirit one. That's gonna be my purchase at this party. That's on Saturday, y'all. Be here. If you're not here, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> it's a Saturday at 11 to one. It's not gonna be long. I'm gonna have food. I'm gonna have refreshments. I'm even gonna have some falmosas. So come enjoy some alcohol. Bring your kids, bring your husbands. He's gonna be here. I'm gonna be here, Anna's gonna be here, everybody's gonna be here, so just come and have fun and buy some stuff, okay? That'd be great. <laughs> mm. Let's see here. Tiffany is my cousin. Oh, okay, cool. I already have one. Did you just find that out? Yeah, or? I did actually. My mom just said that. Tiffany is my cousin. Hmm. Hi, cousin. I have it, I love it, but it's not a Scentsy one. I need a Scentsy one. Yes, you do need a Scentsy one. He needs a monkey, too. I have the monkey. Do you want to... Oh, he has the monkey. Sorry. I was going to say, do you want to see the monkey? Um, washer whips are amazing. Yes, they are. Mom, you need to get the washer laundry detergent, and you need to get the washer laundry bar. You need to get everything laundry from Young Living. Oh, and the dryer thing is lovely. Yes, you already have that. Okay. Miss the scent banana nut bread. I didn't know they had one. I'm on the scent of the month thing, so um, once I get those in, I'll just try to see if anybody wants some. It, I believe it is called pumpkin pear cider. I might be saying that wrong. I'll have to look at it. Love the dryer does. We use mine every time. Perfect results. Yes. Got sound. Finally got baby boy down. Good job, Megan. That is always a mom win. Need to see more of Nick. All right, let's get to smelling. Okay, so we're gonna start. What? Nope. What we're gonna keep smelling the, the scents. Okay. So the first ones we're going to do are the new release or the holiday and the new releases right now just because um, we're on kind of a, not a time crunch, but I don't want to sit here and do this all night long. So, and I'm sure you guys got things to do too because it is a Tuesday. All right. So since these are um, separated into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scent categories. So fruity, bakery, spice, woods, fresh, floral, and citrus. Um, so. My favorites are the Spice, the Woods, and the Bakery. What are yours? Yours is probably the Woods and the Fresh. Probably. Yeah. He really likes the Fresh and the Spice. He likes everything pine. It doesn't matter. It could have, like, pine salt on it. He'd still like it. It's a nice, clean smell. All right, so the Holiday ones. I've already got them separated. I went ahead and did my open box already. I like I'm ready, y'all. I just I had to separate them and make sure I had everything all organized before I did this because I'm type A. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go in order. The first one is called Be Merry, and since he describes it as a joy abounds in pine. Sorry, I don't think this, I'm reading that right. Where's that? Pine. Bows. Bows. Can you read that out loud? Joy pine. bounds with pine bows, dotted with holly leaf and cassis. I don't know what cassis is. I don't know, but it smells very nice. It smells like 
It smells like a Christmas tree. To me, not like a Christmas tree, but like it smells like Christmas. Do you smell it? It smells like the holidays. It does. You can definitely smell the pine. Um, dotted with holly leaf. I could smell the holly leaf. I could see holly leaf, yeah. Do you want to smell it? I do. Okay. I don't know what Cassis is either. Is it Cassis or is it Cassis? Cassis. Uh, Cassis. I don't know. Anybody want to clarify that for me? I don't know. I don't know how they can clarify it through writing the word on there. Oh, Megan, we'll make sure that we smell that weathered leather. He likes it. It smells like leather. But, sorry. It's only been like 20 minutes. I know, but we have Chill. all these to go through. We don't want all of these, just some of them. Oh, okay. Jeez. All right, the next one is Christmas Cottage. Christmas Cottage is one of my favorites. Since he describes it as a cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. Now, this is a very, very, very warming scent. So, if you like the spicy scents, um, kind of like, oh, like Cinnamon Bear or Welcome Home or, gosh, what are the other ones? It's a very cinnamony type scent. Um, this would not be one of your favorites, but I'm going to burn it anyways in the house. I actually have it in this uh, beautiful Scentsy case. It comes in a red color. Oh, it makes me think of a fireball. Not as strong as a fireball. But it has a nice, warm, homey smell. But with that fireball bite, like the cinnamon bite. So, you like spicy stuff, kind of like home, like that stuff, you like that one. Okay, next one is Eskimo Kiss. An Eskimo Kiss um, is explained as blackberry jam, caramelized, brown sugar, vanilla, and amber in a softly romantic scent. Now, I like Eskimo Kiss because it is a very romantic scent. It's a very sweet scent. I really like it. Hmm, it smells so pretty. What do you think? I'm trying to like describe the smell. You can definitely smell the blackberry jam and the vanilla. It does smell very pretty. And it's very homey and very cozy. I am totally getting this. Um, like I said, I will be getting those holidays and new releases, so do not fret. Okay, the next one is Homestead Holiday. The Homestead Holiday comes with this beautiful picture of Charisse on the front. Um, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but it is, um, a cute little, uh, plaid, not plaid, but, um, checkered top here. It is colored in blue and I've already used a lot of it. So Homestead Holiday is one of my favorites now next to, um, Welcome Home. Now, like I said, this is another one that's in the spicy families. So if you like Welcome Home or if you like Country Cottage, this would be another one of yours that you would like. Nick says, is this one smells like Cracker Barrel? Yep, smells like Cracker Barrel. If you have ever smelled a Yankee Candle Home Sweet Home, this is a better version of it. It smells so much better except without being sooty and smelling like something's burning. It smells so good when it's burned. Homestead Holiday is described as blood orange and cinnamon freshened by fur needle. I feel like that is a very bad description of what this smells like because it doesn't, I don't smell, I don't smell the fur needle so much. I do a small amount, but I smell the cinnamon and I smell a little bit of an orange citrusy smell, but it's not strong. And I, I guess I do smell the fur needle on the end. So if you like Country Cottage, if you like Welcome Home, this one is your jam right here. Okay. Next one is Perfect Peppermint, and this is like one of Nick's favorites. I'm not a big peppermint fan. Oh. No, I'm not a big peppermint fan, but it is straight peppermint mm. to me. Um, it's, it's clean. Yes, it's a very, 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 very <clears throat> breath of fresh air type of clean smell. Um, described um, in the Cincy catalog is cooler than most pure pepper peppermint. Is the popular kid you love. So it is just pure peppermint. Think of smelling a candy cane. 
straight peppermint. It's very, 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 I think this would be really good mixed with something. But if you just like, excuse me, the peppermint smell, that's yours. Smell good on a nice cool morning. Oh, Aunt Connie wants to see the gather. Can you move and show her the gather? I don't know what the gather is. The oh. get gather together. It is a, um, a warmer instead of a bulb. So there is no bulb in it. It warms. Um, so you just click it on and it warms. So there's no replacing a light bulb or anything. It also has a light um, top. A lid at the top of light. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt the scentsy smelling. But this is the Gather Together Warmer. Comes with the lid. Scentsy is not included. But it is a warmer. So there is no bulb. You just click it on and it warms. I have this in our playroom because I can't trust my daughter with anything at all. <laughs> so... I put this up on a on a um, a table and it's covered so she can't see the wax and it's not glowing so she can't see that it's there um, and it makes a lot of scent. Um, there's like little holes at the top here so it smells really 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 well or it burns really really well so burns melts whatever. Anyway, sorry. Let's see here. What was that name again? What was that name again? What were we just talking about? Oh, we were talking about the peppermint. Oh, the peppermint or the Homestead Holiday, Meredith? What was it? The Homestead Holiday, probably, if you like those spicy ones. Eskimo Kiss was the pretty one. Okay. okay. So, I know she was asking which one I just smelled. Oh. I was trying to read comments. I think it was the, the peppermint. Yeah. If it's the peppermint, it's called Perfect Peppermint. If it was the spicy one that I was telling you that's very like the cottage. Or the Welcome Home. That one is Homestead Holiday. My favorite. Will be on a reorder. My husband's losing his patience. This is Silver Bells. This is a returning one. So I've had Silver Bells before. And since he describes it as mint candy canes and winter parrot enveloped. Enveloped. enveloped wow. Enveloped in blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. <sighs> This is a very pretty scent. I would say this is close. Um, this would be um, in the same category as like the Eskimo Kiss. It's a very clean scent. It's not overpowering. It's not overpowering. It's not an overpowering it's not mint heavy candy on cane. cinnamon or anything like that. Yeah, there's no cinnamon. I can smell the candy cane and I can smell the sh vanilla sugar. Like I said, I've had this one before. It's a pretty smell. Kind of like the Eskimo Kiss. So if you like those pretty smells like um, Cozy Cardigan or what was it, Shimmer, this would be along those lines. Okay, Berry Mary Cranberry. This is another one of my favorites that I've had before. So since he describes Berry Mary Cranberry as lush red winter berries pop against a backdrop of snow-covered cedar, Creating a lovely winter landscape. Mm. You can definitely smell the cranberries. Mm. I smell a little bit of the cedar. Not very heavy. I feel like the cranberries is, is not heavy, heavy, but it's there. But it's very nice and it's a very light smell. It's very nice and freshing. This will be on a reorder. I think you would like this one if, if you like if you like berries type stuff. Okay, very good for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a good one. Like a daytime smell. Like just having in the house. It's very sweet. Cranberry sauce. Yeah. Yeah. See? He's into it. He knows. This is water. What? So the next one is very snowy spruce. Um, breathe in the fresh air, fresh forest air, balsam, spruce, and cedar branches. Embrace the warmth of the amber woody pine cones. This is right up Nick's alley. He's probably gonna want me to order this. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Very snowy spruce, y'all. If you like that pine, this is it. It smells like Christmas. It does smell like Christmas. It smells like a Christmas tree. Like if you mix this like and the North. very merry cranberry together in the Scentsy, or that, or be merry, mm. or Christmas cottage. Oh, just mix them all together. Might as well. It's Christmas, y'all. Okay, so that includes the holiday ones um, that they have labeled here. There are other holiday ones that we will get to. Um, let's see here. The next one is the new releases. Um, and those are very interesting. Let's see here. So the new releases are one, two, three. So what, 10 new releases. So the first one is Blood Orange Spice. Now, um, since he describes it as a sweet tart trio of candy apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick. Hmm. Let's see. I don't even really know what a blood orange is. Do you? It's purple orange. I know, but I've never had one. Like, I've never had a blood orange. I have not either. I can definitely smell the blood orange. And the apple. I can smell a little bit of the apple. I don't really smell the cinnamon, but I smell the apple and I smell the blood orange. It's a very nice smell. Citrus. Yeah, if you like citrusy stuff, this would be yours. This is called blood orange spice. So the next one is brownie batter. Now this one is gonna be on my order list. This is um, described as rich heavenly notes of baked brownie, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean. Oh, y'all, if you like the bakery stuff, this will be your jam. This is straight brownie batter. If you seriously made brownies, or even if you just made the mixture, this is exactly it. This is it. I want to eat it. It smells so good. It smells mm -hmm. like brownie batter. Yeah. yeah. It's like straight brownie batter. Blah, brownie batter. You would like this one. If you like the bakeries, you'd like this one. All right, the next one is Candy Cranberry Pecan. And it is described as classic cranberries and pecans are sweetened by sugar cane and ribbon of brandy plum. Hmm. That's nice. You know what that smells like? That smells like a beer. It smells like... It smells like a skunk. Not beer. like a beer beer. Not like a beer. Not like a Miller Lite or a Bud Light. But like one of those, um, no. you don't like that? I smell the pecan. That's probably what it is, that pecan is Yeah, I smell the pecan, it doesn't stink here. I'm sorry, like I'm not, because people want honesty. They don't want me to sit there and nod my head. It does smell thing. like pecan. So if you like the bakery stuff, you would like this one. If you like the smell of skunky beer, you'll like that one. That's a bunch of Y'all come to the party on Saturday, you'll be able to smell it, okay? Just give the people what they want. Honesty. The red one. The no red more, one. No more fake news here. Oh, that was Christmas Cottage. You'll like Christmas Cottage, Meredith. Okay, Connie would like that. Okay, let's see here. Esme would still get into it. I have to put my warmers up on high wage. Girl. I hear you. I have to hide them. I have to. I had to hide all the scentsy stuff today because my daughter was about to like murder everything. I was like, great, cool. Okay. Next one is fiddle, fi, fiddle, fiddle leaf fig. Ugh, that was a tongue twister. Okay, so this one is described as a botanical haven, brimming with wild fern, mission fig, and hints of crushed rosemary and coconut water. Hmm. Coconut water. Yeah, hats off to the people that write the catalog. Yeah, I was saying, I feel like they just kind of threw that one in for fun. I wish I had a job like that. It makes me think of... <laughs> makes me think of the produce section at Walmart. It smells like a bell pepper. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's very earthy. It is very earthy. If you like bell peppers. <laughs> or if you like earthy smells. I'm trying to. Why are you looking so mean? I'm not being mean. Just over here huffing it. I'm not huffing it. 
Why you gotta be so mean? Okay, the next one is called The First Day of Fall, which I already have because it smells amazing. The First Day of Fall. Let's see here. Hey, Travis, what's up, man? Are you gonna come on Saturday or what? Sorry, Travis. <laughs> so, The First Day of Fall is described as all the best parts are here. Just picked pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a spicy dash of cinnamon. Yes. It smells like fall. Oops, sorry. Maybe we should move that so I don't keep hitting it. <laughs> so yes, this one smells like fall. If you like fall, wow. Glasses make me look kind of weird. Okay, if you like the, the fall smells, this is it. This is your jam. It smells really good. You can smell a little bit of the pumpkin. It's not super overwhelming. You can smell the cinnamon. It's not overwhelming. You can smell the nutmeg. It's not overwhelming. It is a very, very, very nice smell for, for fall. Okay, so the next one is grapefruit and grenadine. This makes me think of a pink lady when I smell it. I don't know if you guys know what a pink lady is, but it's an alcoholic beverage. So grapefruit and grenadine is described as splotches, splashes of sparkling grapefruit and juicy pomegranate, and they are garnished with zesty orange peel. Yep, this would make me, if you like those citrusy smells, this is your jam. Mm -hmm. You would like this, grapefruit and grenadine. It's very nice. It's a very fresh scent. It's not too fruity, but it's nice. Okay, Huckleberry Wreath. Did you have that one? I was going to say it's very spring-like. Yeah, very springy. Or summer. Mm. Okay, so Huckleberry Wreath um, is described as a crimson red currant and a handful of huckleberries brighten a wreath of frosted fur. The party is at 11 and it's only until 1. Okay, she wants to know what are the best holiday ones. All of them, all of them are. Maybe it's because of soccer game and baseball when you close in the party. I'll be closing on Sunday night, Sunday evening. So just let me know your order and um, you can just pay me whenever um, you can. But if you need to get an order in, let me know. Or even if you just want to come over and smell them anytime this week, I'm here. Okay, so the Huckleberry Wreath. Free sniffs. Yeah, free sniff, man. I smell their frosted fur more than the huckleberries. I don't even know what a huckleberry smells like. Does anybody know what a huckleberry smells like? If you do, raise your hand. Yeah. When was the last time somebody went shopping for huckleberry? Other than huckleberry now. I'm just saying. Just saying. Smells like a wreath. It smells pretty though. It doesn't stink. So that's nice. It doesn't stink. It's a nice smell. I would probably order this. I, I am yeah. going to order it because it's a holiday one. But it, if I wasn't in Cincy, I would probably order this. Because it is a nice smell. I like it. I just don't know what Huckleberry smells like. Yeah, that's, that's true. All, that's all I was getting at. Whatever. Alright, y'all. The next one is called I'm Snow Over It. Okay, so Snow Over It is described as sage, whispering pine, and cedar wood, bursting with bright berries. Mmm, cedar wood. I hope this one. It's not bad. That's nice. I don't smell the sage. But I smell the pine and I smell the cedar wood, and a, a nice hint of berries. But I don't, I don't smell the sage. Hmm. It is a nice smell. Thanks for throwing a ball at me. Welcome. It's a nice smell. Okay. So I'm snow over it. That was a good one. If you like um, very nice clean smells, that would be along with those smells, like a fresh smell. 
Okay, so the next one is Maple Apple Berman, and this has been an order, like a, re a recurring order ugh, on my order list. I don't know why I have a lot of people ordering this. Oh. You know what this is? This reminds me of maple syrup. I don't smell yeah. the bourbon. Yeah, very heavy, very, a lot of maple. Very, very, very heavy on the nizzle. But it's nice. If you like those baked smells, if you like those food smells, this is it. This would be, it's very nice. It smells just like maple syrup. Okay, next one and the last one of the new releases is Stroop Waffle Delight. And now, um, I'm sorry, I didn't describe the maple, maple, maple apple bourbon, but that one is a red juicy apple and rich maple with a splash of bourbon. And I feel like that is a splash, a very light splash. But there's a lot of maple in there. Okay, so this one is um, Stroop Waffle Delight, and it is described as a cozy twist on a traditional Dutch treat made with creamy vanilla and melted butter and cinnamon. That's nice. You definitely smell the caramel. You definitely smell the cinnamon. It's a nice vanilla smell. Vanilla, very, very, very nice smell. If you like those sweet bake smells, like very, very sweet bake smells, this would be this would be something like that. I feel like that would be a really good mixture with breakfast blend. All right, so we're done with the new releases. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move along with the other ones just because there are a few holiday ones and the other ones, but they weren't um, highlighted. So uh, the next one is Spice. And let's see here. There are a lot of returning ones, and of course, um, just a few that are new. I feel. For me, they're they're new because I they were not around when I was doing using Cincy. Um, okay, so we have a few returning ones, such as um, Autumn Sunset, um, C C Cider Mill, um, Cinnamon Bear, uh, Cinnamon Vanilla. Um, welcome home. The newest ones are the autumn hearth. Let's see here. Hearth. An autumn hearth is um, described as apple, cinnamon, and tonka. I don't know what tonka is, but it smells like apple cinnamon. Mm, definitely smells like apple cinnamon. Yeah, it smells like apple cinnamon. So if you like the apple cinnamon smells, um, Autumn Hearth would be your beers. Um, so let's see here. The next one would be um, Apple Cinnamon Sticks. And that one is described as apple peel spiced white pumpkin hmm. and a touch of oak. But yet it's called Apple Cinnamon Sticks. Hmm. I smell the oak and I smell the apple. Hmm. I don't smell the pumpkin. I feel like the oak. That's a nice smell. I might get that one. That one's a nice one. I bet that one smells really nice burned or melted. Okay, next one is, let's see here, cinnamon bear. We all know smells just like cinnamon. So if you like that cinnamon smell, that one would be yours. Um, farm stand pumpkin. That one's described as um, apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. I can smell the apple. I can smell the cinnamon and the caramel. I don't really get a lot of pumpkin. Do my tank care about us really quick. He's up. And um, I'm gonna probably just want to finish this up for myself here. Um, the last one is pumpkin cinnamon roll cinnamon swirl. I apologize. So that one is described as pumpkin garnished with cinnamon stick and a dollop of whipped icing. Yes. I would say that that's very spot on. Mmm. Smell the pumpkin, you smell the cinnamon, and you smell the icing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. And... 
Let's see here. The next one, we're going to roll on through these um, just because some of these are returning and I don't want to go over things that people have already smelled before. So let's see here. Ooh. Oh, well. So the next one is bakery. Okay, so there's apple butter, butter. there's, let's see here, apple bed, blueberry pancakes, that one's a great one, blueberry cheesecake, that one's always a favorite, um, brownie batters in there, butter pecan, let's just smell that one, that one seems very, uh, fallish, Thanksgiving-like. Butter pecan is described as a blend of candied pecan maple folded with butter. I would say that's pretty smart on too. It smells like maple and it smells like maple. A small hint. It actually smells like a pecan pie with icing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Candy cranberry is new. Okay. And is anybody interested in smelling? Oh, pumpkin roll. Let's do that one. Pumpkin roll is a new Set. Pumpkin roll is described as where are you? Um, pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecan, butter, and spice. I smell the spice. I smell the butter. I smell the pumpkin. It's not very cakey. So if you're thinking of like cake, it's not. It's very nice though. It's a it's a good one for the bakery. Mm -hmm. It's a very good smell if you like baked goods. Okay. Anybody want anything smelled? Okay, I don't see. Um, let's see here somewhere. It's been like 14 years since I've smelled huckleberry. I think it's similar to blackberry. Okay. Sniff the babies. Sniff the babies and see the scentsy. What? Like the wreath. Okay, anyways. Okay, so the next one is fruity. And we don't have very many new ones in there. Let's see, snowberry. Let's see here, snowberry is a holiday one. And uh, that one is a returning one, but it is a... Uh, Described as a luscious blend of Logan Berry, strawberry, peppermint, and cinnamon. You smell the peppermint. Strawberry is definitely in there with the peppermint. It's, it's got to be a small hint of that cinnamon, but it is not very, it's not cinnamony at all. I don't really know how to say that, but it's very berry. Very berry and very fresh. So if you like those fresh smells like that, um... Like that apple tea or winter winterberry apple tea, the one that we're getting to next, um, that would be uh, your favorite, or that would be a a um, co a uh, combined one as well. Winterberry apple tea is described as winter tea co cozies up with cranberry apple and honey. Yes, this is going to be on my order. Ooh, winterberry. Mmm. I smell the cranberries, small amount of that apple um, with the cranberries, and it's very sweet, so not very heavy on the sweet, but it's sweet. Okay, next one, um, I don't think anything is new in the citrus or the floral. Um, in the fresh, I don't think anything is new in the fresh um, that I haven't gone over yet, holiday-wise. Uh, woods. See here, cranberry garland. Now that's one that um, I've ordered already, so it comes in like a um, nice burgundy smell uh, or color, and it is described as sweet start tart cranberry grounded by sage and earthy pine cones. You can definitely smell the sage and the pine. And it is a nice hint of cranberry. So it's fresh with the cranberries and the pine. And 
slightly earthy with that sage. So I think that you would like this if you like that um, nice neutral smell that's not overwhelming with any spices or um, any bakery smells or sweet smells like that. So I think that you would like this one. Um, let's see here. Very s Okay, so we have a few like Christmas cactus. I know that these are returning ones, but I just want to go over those because they are holiday. So Christmas the Christmas cactus is described as agave nectar and citrus trend Siberian fir. Let's see here. I guess you could smell the agave. I don't know what a cactus really smells like, but it's a very fresh, clean smell. It's a very fresh smell, and it's very nice. I think that this would um, be close to like a summer smell but it has a pine so i mean it's kind of like a fresh summery pine smell so if if you like um those piney smells i'm sorry those piney scents that this one would be yours um we have farmhouse fur which we all know is a favorite um very snowy spruce which is super piney parch pumpkin smells like pumpkin uh the weathered leather i know that uh, megan was interested in let's see here and that one just smells straight like leather. I'm not gonna lie. It is described as a uh, dark suede, told, uh, tooled leather and oak. And it, it smells just like leather, girl. Like straight up, it smells like a leather boot, belt, anything leather. Um, let's see here, the next one is, that's it. So I think we've gotten through all of them um, for the holidays. If you have any questions or if you are interested in um, smelling any of those, uh, smelling any scents, let me know. Um, like I said, my party is on Saturday and it's a launch party um, from 11 to 1. It's going to be a quick thing. I don't um, have a lot of time to kind of hang out because i got three kids now. So um, come on over, smell some scents, enjoy some um friends and food and some good times so um i appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with us i didn't want to try to make this too long so um again if you have any questions or if you want to try anything um like i i have so much that i could um share with you guys i definitely want you guys to enjoy this as well um so just let me know send me a message um give me your address and i'll send it out um you guys are great. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and um, thanks. I can't wait to see you on Saturday. Y'all have a great night. Bye.